on July 6, 1944, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus came into town. It was part of their summer tour across the United States and around 7,000 people went to the circus grounds located in the north end of Hartford off of Barber Street to see the circus. What a better way to spend a, a summer day. Coming into Hartford once a year for the circus was something that they literally marked the days off on their school calendars. And it was one of the biggest things for children and families to look forward to, to do together. It was the matinee show, so it started around two o'clock. The Lion Act went through, the Trapeze Artist Act was happening, and somehow the big tent caught on fire. Because the circus was underway, animals in their cages were already being moved into position, and so they ended up blocking the exits. And so as people were trying to escape the big tent, they found themselves unable to get out of the exits, and so there are lots of reports of people having to slash through the canvas um, to make their own way out. That tent was a mile of fabric that within 10 minutes just came down on the crowd. There were unsung heroes who slashed tent sides open. There were people that trampled each other. There were people that died simply from being trampled. My grandfather, a very tall man, took my mother. They were working their way down. They were by the animal chute. Took my mother, told her to remain very stiff, and he was going to push her over and to whatever it took, get up and run. Don't look back and run. The canvas burned quickly because it had been coated with paraffin that had been diluted with gasoline, which was considered a waterproofing technique for the canvas, but actually made it incredibly flammable. People really looked at, oh, this was a tragedy that could have been completely averted if proper precautions had been taken to safeguard the people who were there. So people were angry. People were angry. People were very angry that this was something that did not have to happen. There were no fire regulation capacities then, and the way seating was everywhere. People were literally tumbling over, jumping off of the risers. Memorial Hospital was the closest hospital, and they took in the majority of the people who were injured. Those who were able to were then eventually transferred to other area hospitals like St. Francis and Hartford Hospital. The official death count was 168 people, but there were between 400 and 600 people who were injured and um, some of whom died several days later. National Guard was involved, American Red Cross, Salvation Army. There were a number of those sort of relief agencies that had to get involved. Just the impact of having that many people who had died and due to the fact that they died in a fire. Their bodies sometimes were not easily identifiable. Hartford was a really industrial town. There was a lot of industry happening. There was a lot of war production happening. There were a lot of big organizations. And so it was a really vibrant city. Because it was still during World War II, a lot of these war fighting men were off at war, most likely. So the audience in the crowd that afternoon was a little bit more female. Um, and, and a little bit more of the of family units. Almost half of those who died were under the age of 19. This is one of the images that has been used um, a lot in publications because it is a clown carrying a bucket, uh, we believe, of water. And in the background, you can see the, the burnt out bleachers. Mm, wow. Um, and so... You can't even see the tent anymore. The, the tent, canvas. The gone. canvas is completely gone. All you see are those bleachers that are left. And the fact that the clown has this um, sad look on his face, which is, I think, partially the, the paint of the clown, but then also just experiencing this is, this is one of the most famous photos um, from the circus. Eventually, the circus did pay out $5 million, and that's 1944 dollars, um, and that money was given to families as compensation for their loss. So there were court cases, there were political implications, financial implications, it, it was a major impact on the city.